All right, real quick before we get into this video, if you guys are new to this channel because you're finding it because of these van builds, I'm a BMX rider. My name is Big Boy. I have this channel. We post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. And I'm working on this van, trying to get this thing ready to go for some road trip type stuff. I got some cool trips already planned. I'm going to be going to North Carolina. I'm going to be going to the tri-state area in September time. Another thing real quick is on July 4th, it's my birthday, so I'm feeling kind of good. I'm in the festive mood, so I'm putting everything on the web store. All the stuff you see right here is going to be on sale right now, and I'm throwing in a free t-shirt from the previous drops for every single person's order while supplies last. So go to beweirdshop.com, grab something. That's the main way to support this YouTube channel. Thank you so much, guys, and enjoy the video. All right, you guys know the drill. If I'm opening this up, it's time to get to work. Getting a late day today. Had a lot of video stuff to do earlier. Got a bunch of these videos edited, actually. Got to get all this stuff out. It's like the worst part about the van build is literally taking out everything every single time I do it. But today we are doing the task that I am absolutely shitting my pants about and that is the task of cutting two holes in the roof for the ceiling fans and then hopefully as long as that goes smoothly I will be putting in the solar panels today as well. So I got the proper stuff, I'm going to get everything out of the van, get that ready to go and then we are going to get moving on to just hopping on top of this thing. I'm at Juvie Hall right now, park this bad boy underneath the awning so it keeps the roof nice and cool so I don't get too burnt out there. I'm a ginger fair skin fellow myself so Gonna get all this stuff going and uh, see how it goes. All right, so we'll get right into it. This right here is all the stuff that I'll need. I have two fans, this is one of them right here and then I got another one in the box over here that I'll open in a second. But basically we got two of these fans, one's going in the very front and then one's gonna go in the very back. I got my grinder, because that's what I'm gonna do to cut the roof. It'd be a lot easier to just use the angle grinder for that. It comes with these screws, but I don't like these very much. So I got these ones that are galvanized finish, so they won't rust hopefully as much. And basically I'll put those in, and they have the rubber washers on them too to keep it nice and waterproof, hopefully. And I'm still gonna put the, the Dynaflex on there anyways and get it all around. Then this, since the roof of the van is ridged like this, I don't want there to be gaps, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this expanding foam tape and two strips right here around this whole entire thing so that we have a fully watertight finish on this bad boy. We'll pop this through the thing. I gotta measure what this distance is right here around like that. Then that is what I'll cut on the roof. I'm gonna use the masking tape, which is on my bike over here to make the perfect square. Measure it all out. Make sure it's dialed, sorry for the train. Once that's all dialed, I will actually begin to cut it. And then basically all you do is you drop these in right here. Drop this in like this, it sits in there like that. Put some screws down in it, she's good to go. It doesn't take too many screws, and this thing's got three settings, and it's got an open and a close setting, so you can open it up, close it, and it's got reverse and, un like, it's got in and it's got out. So it can suck in or it can blow out. It's like two things. So this one I'm gonna try first for my AC, and then if I have to get something else, I'm gonna get like an interior unit, which a lot of the van build people use. So I'm gonna just start getting to work, start prepping things. I'm gonna get these all prepped up right now, both of them. And then once those are prepped up, I'll start getting the roof prepped. We'll cut, drop them in, and then we'll worry about the solar panels after this. Both of these bad boys are taped off right now. That one's taped, that one's taped. So basically what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna measure out what this distance is because it's this part that has to slide in and this will be the outside. So I have to measure from the outside of that one to the outside of that one and that's what we're gonna cut up top. This is where it gets scary, folks. This is where I indeed start to shit my pants because it's feeling real. So measure this one this way. This one is 11 inches, that's a square. So 11 by 11, so we gotta go up there and measure an 11 by 11 square. We're gonna try to center them up as best as we can. You know I'm definitely not measuring center, center on that. I'm just gonna do a little, I, I can center it up based off the ridges. The ridges will help, but I'm gonna put a new camera in this battery and I'm gonna put all this stuff on top of the van and we're getting up there one time and one time only and uh, we're going for it, folks. So let's hope this works out pretty good. Dax, you excited? These fans will be blown on you, man. Mainly these are for Dax, and I don't even know if they'll be enough. When we go to North Carolina, it'll be fine, but I don't really plan on living in this thing in the state of Florida ever, so. Uh, but camping trips, my goal is to take this thing to go camping in cooler spots when it's hot as hell in Florida. All 
Oh shit. I wish y'all could have just seen how I got on this van. That was not graceful, but I did it. Getting off this thing is gonna really suck. Super high there. But right now we're gonna clean off the first part. We're gonna do the first one first, and then we'll do the back one after. This is what I was telling you about the ridges. It's gonna make it not flat. So that's why we got that to try to make up for that barrier. But cut this out first. We'll get it prepped first. We'll cut them both at the same time. We'll go from there. Big two, that means that halfway is So that right there is the center point. So we're gonna measure off that basically half of 11 in every direction and that should give us our perfect square. Well, time has officially come. We got them both centered up on the vehicle. I'm actually quite impressed that I did that. Didn't think I was capable, but they actually are 100% both centered up. I know I said I wasn't gonna do that, but they are. Right now, I'm gonna try to start going for this and get cutting on it. This is extremely scary. I'm very nervous. I feel fast right now. All right, it's go time. Let's do this. God, I've never been so nervous in my life. I'm like shaking. Shouldn't shake though. Holy shit. Whew. Well, that's crazy. All right, we have two holes officially, one back there and one out here. So before I test fit these fans, I wanna get all this metal off because the metal is what causes rust. So basically right now, I'm gonna just sweep all this BS off. We'll get it all out of here. And then I'm gonna clean this hole. I'm gonna clean like around the area with some like uh, uh, alcohol and stuff like that. Get this all clean and prepped. And then after I'm done with that, I'll get ready to put these fans in. We'll basically seal around the entire hole, make sure there's as much of the stuff as we possibly can on there, put it down, and then we'll use the drill bit to sink it down in there, and then uh, should be good, man. Should be good. All right, now it's time to get to... Uh, setting this bad boy and this one doesn't fit in as nice as the other one but basically we're gonna put all that sealer on the outside of this around the whole job we're gonna give a little rim job on this thing you know i might even throw a little extra on here too just to be safe go. pretty good i'm cut through trey's over there working on his bike two of them wow. yeah All right, both seeing the fans are done and they're facing the right way, which is crazy. I did not think, I, I, I messed it up the last time. I didn't think that was a worry. Dax, what are you doing down there? Hey, hey, what do you got? I'm gonna get down. I'm gonna unpack these solar panels and see if I can install these today or if I should wait till tomorrow. Not really too sure yet. I think I could do it today, but again, I don't really know. So I'm gonna see right now. Guess I'll, I guess I'll go ahead and install the solar panels. They have all the stuff I need. So basically you just mount, this to that like that you do the same thing over there and uh let's do it dax let's put these on and then this is for another day i gotta figure this out another day i have no idea what to do with these that's just too much for right now but i can at least put this stuff on and we can figure this out at a later time <laughs> <laughs> 